couple of days. So I want to ask the question now, when police are going to stop the scapegoat in Jamaica for everything? Because first and foremost, I want somebody to show me when since Commissioner of Police fight crime. I want somebody to help me understand this. When you ever see a Commissioner of Police fighting crime, no Commissioner, no Deputy Commissioner, no Assistant Commissioner fight crime in Jamaica. Not one of them. So you could have fired a Commissioner for no until next year. You could have asked them to step down from no until next year. Not one of them fight crime. The foot soldiers them are out there at them fight crime. The constable, the corporal, the sergeant, the inspector them. To a lesser extent, the superintendent them in charge of the division. At them are fight crime. At them are the streets every day fighting crime. Commissioners cannot help fight crime. Commissioners only administrate, direct. That's all. A portfolio to give directions as to wh where they should go and what they should do. But on the ground is the troops, the foot soldiers. And they are the ones that are being pressured left, right and center. They are the ones that the, the power has been taken away from to fight crime. So what the commissioner going to do? Why don't explain to me what the commissioner is going to do? How is he going to fight crime? You ever see a commissioner outside there with M16 and 9mm up on the waist? So what does asking the commissioner to step down is going to do? We're doing this thing back way. Are we consistently going backwards? We need to wake up and do the right thing. Because you could have you could have asked this commissioner to step down, you put in the next one. Three months from now, crime is gonna be at the same level. You're gonna do ask that one to step down, so I put in the next one. Commissioner of police do not fight crime. Foot soldiers fight crime. Constables and corporal and sergeant who have been targeted by any common them cronies. They are the ones fighting crime. Not the commissioner of police. So get it clear, people. No matter how much time you ask commissioners to step down, that's what I fact. No matter if you change the minister of national security. That doesn't fight crime. So I'm not going to sit here and play politics with this thing. Whether it's going to be Honorable Bobby Montague, whether it's going to be any other minister that get a portfolio, they don't fight crime. The foot soldiers fight crime. So we have to give the power back to the police so they can fight the crime and cut the foolishness. What those asking Commissioner Quayle to step down is going to do? If a state of emergency in St. James, and in the middle of the state of emergency, man a fire gun, man a carry gun, got funeral and a kill people, what do you think the Commissioner is going to do? Leave all of road and drive go up there? Huh? Is he going to leave the Commissioner office and drive go up there and stop the crime? If you have numerous soldiers and police and gun,